Hi, I'm Katie Quintana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a top 10 non-electronic, non-toy Christmas gift list idea for babies. Um, at the end, I will also include my top 10 ideas for stocking stuffers for babies, so stay tuned for that. Number one is a mirror. <laughs> babies love to look at themselves and see the facial expressions and tap on the glass and everything. So a baby safe mirror, whether it's a little one for the crib or even a bigger one to play with on the floor, is always a fun gift. Number two is a projector. So there's so many little, uh, little projectors you can get that shine different designs and stars and colors on the ceiling or the wall. They're all fun. Sometimes they have music ones and things, but really just a simple one for the baby to kind of look at different things while they're laying there and playing. We've also used the projector to put above them and angle down so when they're doing tummy time, they can see the pattern on the floor as well. Number three is a floor mat or a rug for babies that are gonna be on the floor a lot. You're gonna be doing tummy time. They will be sitting up and want a soft place to sit and especially as they're learning to sit and they're gonna be crawling around. So a nice cushion padded quilt or rug is really useful for babies. Number four is books. I recommend books for every age. Start reading the baby early. Start getting them used to books, showing, letting them play with them, letting them explore them themselves. There are so many great books out there for babies to learn and explore and touch. I will be releasing my top baby book recommendations in a video coming out later. So if you want to see that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications so you'll know when that video comes out. Number five is a pop-up tunnel. If you have a baby that is about ready to crawl or is already crawling, a pop-up tunnel is so much fun. You can really encourage them to go through it, play with toys on one side and back and forth, and they fold up and go like flat and under the couch very easy. So they're not in the way taking up a lot of room. These next few ones, they're not really something that you would think is fun, but it's a baby. They don't really care what they're getting for Christmas. So there's that. Let them play with the tissue paper and the bag or the box. But a new outfit, we usually, everybody loves buying baby outfits anyways. So find a cute outfit or something that you know baby needs and put it in a box and they're not going to care if they open it up and they get another onesie. So <laughs> pick something cute that you want to get them or you think that they need. Also next, number seven is get them some soft soled shoes. If they don't have shoes yet, or whatever. <laughs> My kids usually never wear shoes unless it's winter time or until they are about ready to start walking. Number eight is dishes and spoons. Whether you need, or you're starting to just spoon feed them yourselves or if they've moved on to being a little bit older and trying to finger feed themselves, dishes and spoons are great, especially like those suction cup bowls, things like that. I will be linking some of our favorites below um, I'm actually linking everything I recommend below, so make sure you check them out if you're interested. So number nine is a snack cup. Those ones that are really easy to carry around, they're really easy to grab out without making a mess. I recommend them. They have been a lifesaver in some instances, especially like in the car if you need to give them a quick snack. Number 10, diapers and wipes. You're gonna have to buy these anyways. Might as well be a Christmas present for the baby who doesn't care about anything other than ripping the paper and playing with the bow. So those are my top 10 gift ideas for baby. So let's move on to my top 10 stocking stuffer ideas for baby. All right, so number one is food pouches or just little baby food jars. So especially if baby has already started solids, this is really great. If they haven't quite got there yet, they probably will quickly. So I always love getting the little food pouches or just even like the little food jars, the first step ones. We kind of got them a couple months before we were even ready to start my baby on them. So she had something in her stocking, but she wasn't actually going to use them for a couple months. Number two is puffs or crackers and things. So if you have a baby that really likes some of these dry finger foods, this is a great time to stock up on them and stick them in the stocking. So number three is a sippy cup or a no spill cup of some kind. So especially if you're trying to transition baby off the bottle, this is a really good time to try to do that. Get them a special new cup, make it exciting when they get it out of their stocking, and hopefully that it'll kind of help the transition off of a bottle. Number four, I actually don't remember exactly what they were called. I will link them below, but they're like little pacifier feeders, you know, like those little mesh feeders, but this is so much better than the mesh feeders. The mesh feeders, I could never feel like I got them clean, and so I didn't really like them. So these are pacifier type feeders. So it's like a pacifier with a bunch of holes in it and you can put the baby food in that and they kind of gnaw it and suck it out. So 
we love them. We put tons of things in them. I would even just freeze baby food in there and then let her chew on it when she was teething and it was amazing. So I highly recommend them. Number five is a toothbrush. They have those great little finger toothbrushes for really little babies or a beginning toddler toothbrush if your baby's getting a little bit older. So those are a great little gift to throw in there and they're helping with hygiene. Number six is a pacifier. So if your baby is using pacifiers, you can you kind of understand how fast they kind of disappear. So it might be a good time to stock up on a couple more. To go along with that, number seven is a pacifier clip. If you are losing pacifiers, pacifier clips do kind of help. So I do recommend them. And you can get them in a lot of cute patterns. So sometimes it's just fun to have one. Number eight is teethers of some kind. If you have a baby that's about ready to start teething or is already teething, you're gonna wanna stock up on a couple different kinds of teethers cause you don't know which one your baby is going to like the best. So I will link some of our favorites below. Number nine is ties and bows and headbands and those kind of things. So you're gonna be buying these cute little things that you want baby to wear anyways, might as well stick them in their stocking and let it count as a gift. Number 10 is colored scarves. So if you've seen those colored scarves, babies love playing with them. You can use them and play peekaboo. You can put it on top of their heads and they pull them off. They can do like stick them all into a box and they pull them all out. There's lots of fun things and they are such bright, fun colors. Well, you can get pastel colors, but we usually buy the br brighter colors. They're fun and they're cheap. I hope these top 10 gift ideas and top 10 stocking stuffers for babies gave you some ideas of what you could get for your baby. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed with the little bell on if you are looking for gift ideas for other age groups of kids. I'm doing this all the way from zero to preteens. And if you're interested in the book list from babies all the way to preteens, they will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Make sure in the comments below you leave me any of your non-electronic, non-toy item ideas for baby as well.